Hi, we're on the Wakiva River today and we're going to do the Rock Springs Run. Um, we're going to be going about a couple miles up the river. We're going to go to Wakiva Springs and um, hopefully uh, this will be a nice easy run for the whole family. So good, let's go. The Wakiva River and Wakiva Springs are located in Seminole County, Florida, just west of Longwood and just north of Orlando. The Wakiva River Basin makes up one of Florida's only two nationally designated wild and scenic rivers and is fed by about 30 natural springs. The water is cool and crystal clear year round. The put in point to go just to Wakiva Springs is at Wakiva Island and there are kayak, canoe and paddleboard rentals there. From Wakiva Island you head just past the bridge west toward Wakiva Springs. Wakiva Island is a dog friendly recreational area that has a bar and there is a food stand there. The parking is free and there is no admission fee. If you have your own watercraft there's a $10 launch fee and the rentals for kayaks and canoes is $25 after 12 p.m. The bridge is the cutoff point for swimming due to alligators and we pulled Cooper aboard after passing the bridge. After passing the bridge you encounter turtles, a lot of wading birds, and the occasional alligator. There are a few spots where the water is less than two feet and you can get out and swim without fear of alligators. After about a half a mile you will reach the Rock Springs Creek Junction. Continue west on to Wakiva Springs. There are huge strangler trees growing around the large pine trees along this area. The largest I have seen in central Florida. The river is pristine wilderness area at this point. You will officially enter the Wakiva Springs State Park about a half a mile after Rock Springs Creek. When you reach Wakiva Springs you enter a large pond and there is a place to tie up just past the small launch beach at the state park. There is a two dollar entrance fee. Wakiva Springs is a nice stop to grab a snack and a dip before heading back to your starting point on Wakiva Island. Well that concludes the Wakiva River Run. It's about a two hour trip up to Wakiva Springs and back. It's very kid and dog friendly. Uh, you have to get out there this summer and try to do this trip. Uh, next week we're going to do the Rock Springs Run which uh, goes from Rock Springs to Wakiva Island. It's about 10 miles. So look forward to that. Uh, please hit the like button or the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. Until next time, this is Ken Carver from Central Florida Outdoors, and we'll see you next time outdoors. Mm -hmm.